How do I replace the sheath filter on the FlexMap 3D? Let's take a look at the procedure for removing and replacing the sheath filter on the FlexMap 3D. This routine is part of the annual maintenance schedule. Why should I replace the sheath filter? The sheath filter removes particles greater than 10 microns in diameter from the sheath fluid. This keeps the fluidic system clean of particles causing buildup on the filter. Keeping the sheath fluid clean ensures accurate test results. The filter needs to be replaced annually. Replacement sheath filters can be purchased from Luminex. Here's how to replace the sheath fluid filter. Turn off the FlexMap 3D instrument and unplug the power cord. Open the left door on the FlexMap 3D instrument and locate the sheath filter on the front of the fluidics bay. Disconnect the filter by pushing down on the metal clamps at each quick disconnect point. Connect the new sheath filter, matching up the color-coded fittings. The arrow on the sheath filter should be pointing up. Close the left door. Plug in the power cord and turn on the FlexMap 3D instrument. Using the exponent for FlexMap 3D software, run the prime command twice. This will remove any air bubbles in the fluidics lines. From the home page, click the Maintenance tab. On the Maintenance tab, click Commands and Routines. From the Commands list, click on Prime twice to add it to the command sequence. Note, the FlexMap 3D instrument draws sheath fluid from the sheath fluid container for this routine. For this reason, no solution needs to be added to the plate or off-plate reagent block for this procedure. The routine can be saved as a custom routine by clicking the Save As button and typing in a routine name, or can be run without saving by clicking the Run button. And finally, remember, replacing the sheath filter on the FlexMap 3D instrument needs to be completed annually. This filter keeps the sheath fluid clean of debris. Because the buildup remains in the filter, it must be disposed of and replaced with a clean filter.